This video shows the procedure to be used when installing moulded parts with S1125 adhesive. You must adhere to local codes and regulations relating to safe working practices. Degrease the cable jacket using the solvent wipe. Abraid the cable jacket thoroughly with a 100 grit emery cloth. Remove loose particles from the abraded area using a dry tissue. This cable preparation is very important in ensuring a strong bond to the moulded part. Degrease the inner area of the moulded part at each end thoroughly. Then abrade the inner area of the moulded part at each end again thoroughly. Remove loose particles from the abraded area using a dry tissue. Degrease the adapter to ensure the best possible bond. Never abraid the adapter. Apply the adhesive onto the flange at the rear of the adapter for a full 360 degrees. Apply the adhesive into the adapter end of the moulded part for a full 360 degrees. Position the moulded part so that the lipped H end will recover into the groove on the adapter. Use a CV1981 heat gun and PR26 reflector set at 230 to 250 degrees centigrade. When recovering, the heat must be applied evenly around the moulded part. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the adapter. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue heating along the moulded part.
Before the moulded part is fully recovered, apply S1125 adhesive to both the cable jacket and the inner of the moulded part at the J end for a minimum distance of 20 millimetres. Continue heating along the moulded part at the cable end. Remove excess adhesive using a solvent wipe. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the cable. This should take approximately 30 seconds. Allow to stand until one of the recommended curing cycles is complete. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. There should be no separation between the moulded part and cable jacket at the adhesive bond line.